Well, this is a bit of a rare treat. Um, I've never electrofished before, but I've got a pretty good instructor in uh, Mike Blackburn, who's a biologist with Alberta Environment and Parks. Uh, Mike, um, okay, I'm wearing rubber gloves. You've got an electrical pack. Everything I learned about throwing a toaster in water was a bad thing, so what are we doing here? So th this is a highly advanced toaster, though. So basically, we, we just have this backpack, and it has... Uh, a small battery in it and uh, it puts power into this anode and to we have an anode we put in and our cathode so basically all we're doing is we're putting current through the water and a fish is formed in the shape of a torpedo so it swims forward mostly so all we're doing is forcing the fish to swim towards us so giving it a little pulse a little zap we wear gloves as protection because uh, it's probably not going to kill you but we don't want to give anyone zaps or anything and it, it could throw your heart out of rhythm a little bit and you wouldn't notice. So it, it's, it's small power. Uh, if, if you're careful, it doesn't hurt people and it doesn't hurt the fish. Yeah, well, uh, let's maybe just expand on that. If, it, if, it, if it's possible to give me a little bit of a heart palpitation, we're talking about a, a fish that's maybe this big. So how do you determine uh, the power that you need to use and, and that type of thing? Uh, so it depends on the conductivity of the water and these units are actually pretty pretty sweet in that when we could actually run a quick setup, it looks at the conductivity and it sets it at the lowest power that we need to catch a fish. And then we could adjust it from there. But uh, what's really neat about electricity and fish and, and water is that actually the larger you are, the, the more power that hits you. So bigger fish get hit harder than little fish. So ah. we're using little water or little power on little fish so it's pretty harmless. Okay, so my role is to man the, uh, the net here. So what am, I, what am I looking for? So we're gonna, we move in an upstream fashion so that when we're putting in the power, we're, we're, we're moving the, the wand downstream towards the netter. And what you're gonna be looking for is a fish at the end of my anode swimming towards you. So I'll be guiding it down towards you and it'll be active netting. They're not gonna sit there and let you net them it's sometimes kind of comical as how they get around your net. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. 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 Ye